All right, so this is going to be a demonstration for um, how you're going to do the um, uh, shading for um, the hands in your handscape drawings, and then also just like random um, things that are included in the drawing as well. All right, so now in terms of the, um, the hands that you're going to be drawing, um, you know, it's just real, real important though um, for the shading part is you have to think very, very carefully about the um, uh, about the um, uh, you know where your light source is coming from in the um, drawing. You know whether it's coming from the top part, uh, either the left or the right side of the drawing. Okay, you have to be careful about where your light source is coming from. <laughs> okay, so uh, you know the example I showed you from the warm up though. Like uh, you know this is the original picture I took here. So I um, mean you know, obviously my light source isn't that great because in the room I had on. Um, top. It's not really that like, you know, fluorescent lights to take the pictures though, but overall though, it's got some nice shadows of like where I want to place these things though, but in terms of how the laying it should be though, I actually wanted the laying to look a little bit more like this, so uh, you know, we do have like some spotlights in the room though, so if um, you know, any of you guys, any of you guys want to take more time though to get more of a um, precise light source, um, you know, you can use the um, lights in the room to um, take these photo, um, photos of these hands. But I don't think it's necessary though, but um, you know, I'm just going to tell you to keep in mind of a couple of things to in order to do the um, shading for your hands. Okay, so, you know, for the first most important thing though is just think about like where your light source is going to be located in the drawing. So, um, you know, aside from the examples that I showed you before, um, I'm going to show you how you can draw without using the um, references, okay, but you have to think really carefully about like where the light's coming from. So, you know, let's just say hypothetically I wanted to put the light source on the <coughs> um, top right hand corner. Okay, so obviously, you know, there's not really a drawing of a sun here, but off of the page though, if I were to keep going up here, this is where my light source would be. Okay, so, you know, it'd be like the light would kind of like shine down in this direction here. Okay, so in terms of like how you shade the hand though, you want to keep in mind that your light source is on the very, very top. So, you know, basically overall on the um, right side of the hand, okay, this is where you want to kind of like place the um, shadows of the hand. So, you know, there's going to be a shadow for the, um, the wrist. There's going to be a shadow for like this round part here. <laughs> okay, and there's going to be a shadow for like up here too. Okay, so you just want to do like a nice, you know, gray shadow all the way around the, um, you know, on one side of the hand. <laughs> Okay, since the sun is a little bit further away, though, we don't have to put, like, that much of, like, harsh or dark shadows. Uh, you know, you want to get, like, a nice consistent gray on the, um, uh, the edges of the hand. Okay, so most of these shapes, though, for, like, the fingers and even for, like, this shape here, they're more, like, cylinder shapes, so... <laughs> Oops. Oh, I apologize. So I'm going to zoom in closer so you guys can see what I'm doing. So, you know, I'm just basically putting shadows on, like, the right side of it. So, you know, most of these fingers, though, there are kind of, like, more like a cylinder shape. So, same idea that you're going to do before. You're going to just shade, like, one side of it. And I would just do, like, a medium gray. You know, that way you can get, like, a, you know, good idea of, like, where the shadows would fall. But you don't have to, like, fully commit to the shadows yet. So, I'm just going to do a gray for these areas here. And then, like, the parts where, like, the fingers bend. You know, I would add a little bit of shadow there. Okay, but generally this is how you want to think about in terms of like how to shade the um, the hands. Unless if you have like a real reference to look at, uh, you know, you just want to think about like the direction of the light and how the light falls on it. But you know, again, fingers are gonna be like cylinder shape. This is more of like a round oval. So if you remember like the practice that we did, you know, it's like almost shading the same exact way. We're just doing like that oval. <laughs> And then also, you know, if you look at your hand, though, like, you know, the parts where it wrinkles up, like, it crinkles, like, you also see, like, some hard shadows there, too. Okay, so you want to just make sure to capture the shadows in between, like, those areas of where the uh, wrinkles fall. So, you know, there's, like, some here, there's also some on the fingers, too. Uh, it's not a lot, though, because, you know, like, the hands are kind of, like, more straight like this. But, you know, that's how you want to go about with shading the hand, though. You know, just think about the direction of the light, and you just want to shade accordingly to, you know, where those shadows would fall or should fall. So, you know, I would just do, like, you know, little spots of shadows. And then this side, this would actually be, like, over here, though. 
So I'm going to shade this round shape here, just like that. And then there's actually going to be more shadows on this part of the hand because, you know, this is actually getting closer to this part. <laughs> so in a way, though, we're kind of like illustrating these shadows. We're not really, you know, we're just like figuring out the best positions on where they would be, how to shade them. But, you know, again, I would just refer back to your references, though, if you're not exactly sure, though. Okay, so, you know, once you got, like, a good idea of, like, what the shadows would be, then you can go a little bit darker on some of those values. So, you know, you can go a little bit more darker here, a little bit more darker there. You know, shade it accordingly, though, like, to, you know, how dark you want those values to be. Uh, you know, you kind of get the idea, though. I'm just building up my values now. I'm working more on my dark darks. Yeah, that's kind of how you want to go about with the shadows of the hands. You know, just think about like the overall shape and how it's supposed to look. Alright. You know, same thing when you guys draw like random things like, you know, trees too. You know, same idea, you know, like my light's coming from here and, you know, I want to shade it accordingly to it. So, you know, again, the you know, tree has more of like a cylinder shape. So I'm just shading one side, you know, a little bit darker. Hello, Mister. Hello. Um, can I talk to you? Yeah, hold on, I'm making a video. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, so you're gonna shade it on one side here, just like this. And uh, since the sun's on the top, though, I'm gonna shade a little bit more on the bottom here. So, you know, once you got, like, a general idea of, like, where those values would fall, then you, know, you can go a little bit more detail with, like, the uh, textures of the branches. <laughs> and the same thing with the, uh, the leaves of the tree. Be mostly shaded on the right side. And then you want to, you know, go a little bit darker on the bottom. And once you got your grays down, though, you can go a little bit more, uh, a little bit more darker. But you know, if I zoom out, you can see like the values kind of like forming a little bit more. <laughs> oh yeah, and then one other important thing too is, um, you know, just keep in mind though, like anything that you guys draw though, there's going to be a uh, cash shadow is going to fall on into the um, to the drawing too. So, for example, like your cash shadow, uh, it's going to be like uh, toward the um, right side of the drawing. So, this is like me shading the uh, branches here, and it's going to be kind of like blurry looking though. But you know, basically, we're just kind of like casting a shadow here. Actually, the way that I'm shading it though, it's a little bit more of uh, you know, kind of like more on the uh, this side here. Right, but, you know, that's fine though. You know, same thing with the rocks though. Uh, you know, again, I'm only shading the right side of the drawing. And you get the idea, you know, just go with that medium gray. And you can go into your, your darker values. And then you can, you can do like your cash shadows too. All right, but that's kind of how you want to go with, you know, generally with the shading, though, of uh, these things. So just do, like, a medium gray. Then go into your dark darks. Think about where the light source is coming from, and then you want to shade accordingly to, you know, where that light source is coming from.